Well, we spent a lovely night at Coxbank. That's one of our favourite mooring spots on the Audlum flight. And now for the descent. Well, very different than it normally is. Keith can tackle those by washes, but this time, wait and see. Very nice to meet Karina and Tony as well as they were uh, going along through the locks and lovely to see them on the marina as well. Hope you enjoy what's in store. Another lovely stay at Coxbank Moorings. But now, at a reasonable time for us, a normal time, I think it's about half nine in the morning, we're trundling down to the rest of the Audlum flight. 13 locks today and Bernadette's already all systems go and she's doing what she normally does as well. She'll walk this and do every lock. She never gets back on board which is common sense because there are only short pounds in between each lock here. So away we go. bit of an unusual one this. This is our first lock of today and the pound after bridge 76 is actually very low and the boat in front has been stuck on the bottom for a while and, and they've let water through and got off again but I can see it going down. Again the pound, a bit unusual. The CRT volunteer said he's phoned up the officer to say somebody needs to come out and do some checks. Wonder if we have to get down here quick. <laughs> Definitely have to stay in the middle here. Currently that this pound is the foot down. Very unusual. It's that low at the moment that there's no uh, <laughs> there'll be no by wash because it's not overflowing and going down, which again is unusual. Because the by washes, you see, we not with the water not going down, it won't fill up the next pound.
I and had dinner oh. last night. Turned around and we just started our way back up. Yeah, this oh, is lovely. Thank you. You enjoy your day. When things are not running smooth, that's where a bit of experience comes in. We've got a few people panicking ahead of us about the, how shallow it is. But you just have to be very, very careful and manage the water in a good way. Because there's no water coming through to the, you know, the overflow and creating bywashes, eventually all these pounds are going to go lower and lower and lower so we are, got, we are maneuvering very carefully we stay in a lock and then when I'm going Bernadette will let some more water through the lock at the back as I'm going out to try to put some extra water in the pound ahead but that will only work for so long if they don't sort out the flow of water for whatever reason happening up there people are going to start getting stuck it's all part of boating trials and tribulations <laughs> Yeah, have, have you? <laughs> hey, I was watching you, and you as well. <laughs> I love your videos. It is, yeah. We get the lurkers that watch without letting you know. <laughs> we know a lot of them, don't we? We do, yeah. <laughs> Having lots of boats around when you're doing a flight of locks like Audlem just works brilliantly because it's one out one in saves a lot of work for a lot of people still shallow though and we're still being careful
We've been up and down these flights at Audlem hundreds of times. And not once have we had a trip like this. Not one by wash is actually functioning. So that definitely means there's a shortage of water from somewhere. And a classic here, and I'm wondering if it is, when we get to lot number 12, which is just before the bridge as you get to the Shoppy Fly and the Bridge Pub, that is normally fierce though. I wonder what it's like. I suspect there'll be absolutely nothing and it'll be so calm. Never ever known it. So something's happening. I don't know if we'll ever find out what it is, but there's something very, very different on this trip we've had on the Ardham flight. It certainly is. At this point, I thought I'd just interrupt our trip down the wonderful Ardham Flight of Locks. The reason is, near Bridge 78, lock number 12, it has a bit of a reputation, to put it mildly. And it can affect people who are not used to it. You know, people who are in very, very light boats, particularly fiberglass. And uh, if you approach it and you don't continue with power, you're destined to have a problem. And this is what this next little bit of video will show you. It'll show you problems you can have because the boat can easily get pushed against the side and when you stop and that's when you have issues. When you come out the lock, it can easily be bumped if you go in too slow and then we'll show you the method we use when we are going in because over the years we've got experience of the more difficult type of locks and we can normally cope with them and hopefully this will show you that so here's a selection of things what you can have a look at I hope you find it interesting to just it'll just confirm what I'm talking about and then we'll continue with our journey. So here we go. the easiest slot 12 on the Ardlem we've ever done. 
talked about experience before well a while ago now and we knew there was a problem with the Ordland flight because it's just it's it's been too easy with having no no by wash but it's been shallow now this morning like we always do if we come across a problem we don't we don't say well somebody else can let them know we'll ring immediately and they do know us and they know they know they trust what we say at CRT and we told them about the issues. Anyway, we've, Bernadette's just been talking to one of the CRT guys who's just come up past the Shroppy Fly. And there is a blockage, I don't know what that means. There's a blockage at Adderley Locks, which is restricting water flow severely. And they're getting it sorted out now. So it was worth ringing because It'd have only gone worse and people would have been having bigger problems down the line. So we do our bit and experience does help on these occasions, it certainly does.
This is our last lock of the Orlum flight. The easiest it's ever been. Yes, it's been a very curious uh, little uh, trip down the locks with no by washes. Certainly has. No challenges, it's all been easy. Well that's our first condensed cruise of the season completed. We're going back in the marina now and we're going to call home. Our commitments are at home and our priority. Check everything's alright and then we'll be back out. Going back down the Shropshire Union. I won't say anything else for now but there'll be plenty more history as well as some wonderful views and trips and anecdotes or anything it'll be very enjoyable but for now that's definitely it and we'll see you very very soon Ta out <laughs>